All right, welcome back to another Sudoku. The one we have here today looks plenty interesting. In plenty interesting, use your words. It's called Thermoren by Arc29. And let's take a look at these rule sets and see what we've got. Making sure I'm recording and we've got everything set up right. Good, good, good. Normal Sudoku rules apply. So we've got digits one through nine. Must apply, must apply, must be placed in every row, column, and three by three box once each. Normal killer rules apply. Digits and cages sum to the digit in the top left corner, i.e. this would have these two digits together equals 16. Digits cannot repeat along the marked diagonal, which is this guy right here. Thermometers are Ren bands. So digits increase from the tip to the bulb. Wait, digits increase. That's not correct. A thermometer increases from the bulb to the tip. So let's, I'm hoping this is a typo. So this should be bulb to tip, and they are also Ren bands. So digits on the thermometer form a set of consecutive non-repeating digits. We're going to see if this is a typo or if it's meant to be tip to bulb. It doesn't seem like it would be, but hey, let's figure it out. So let's get into this one. So thermo ren. So it's a combination of thermometers and ren bands. And let's get started. So first things first, I'm a realist. This one the, has to be nine and seven. There's no other way to get to 16 and two. This has to be one and two. There's no other way to get to three and two digits. How about in here? Um, are these longer thermos, I don't know if they're going to help me too much. This one might. It could be up to three. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Uh, this would be two, three, four. I'm going to type these in. Nope. Because it's harder for me to remember all of this stuff, and it helps me to see a little bit better. So that's what I'm doing. And that's just the way it is. Uh, none of these other thermos seem to be all that great. Now, the thing with these thermos, though, since they are Ren bands, if this is a 1, this would have to be a 2, and that can't happen. So this is not a 1. These are not 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I could have used that logic earlier, or I didn't have to write all this out. But the next thing, if it's a thermo and a Ren band, if this is 2, this would be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That all seems to work. And if this is a 3, this would be 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. That all seems to work. This thermo, because of this 7, is slightly hampered, but not a ton. I mean, it could be... It could be 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, 5, and 4, 5, 6. It obviously can't get up to 7 because of that. Um, obviously this one can't be a 1 because it's forced this to be a 2, 3, and 4 and break both of these clues. But I don't, th and it can't be 2 because that would have 3, 4 on it. It can't be 3 because that would be 3, 4. It could be 4, 5, 6, 7. So these could be 4, 5, and 6 because 6, 7, 8, and 9. So 5, 6, 7, 6, 7, 8, 7, 8, and 9. I'm going to put them in. Uh, so there's not much going there at the moment, actually. Now this, I think this line is going to be to differentiate information a little bit later. So the next question is, where do we put an 8 in here? It's got to go in here somewhere. This can't be 8 because that would have to be 7, so I can get rid of that. Does that really do a whole lot for me? I don't know that it does. But this can't be 1 or 2 or 3. So I'm going to just put 4 there. That just lets me know that this is a minimum or yeah, minimum of 4. Um, and if it's 4, it actually has to be a 4. So that is, that's a good place to start. Because if this is 4, this would be 5 and 6. If this is 5, this would be 6 and 7. That breaks this. So this has to be 4. Four. This has to be 5. This has to be 6. Now that this can't be 6, these can't be 5, 4, and 3. 
the four here gives me the three here, which gives me the two, and the four, and the five, and the six, and the seven, and the eight. And that two gives me the one and the two. Okay, there we go. This has to be an eight now. Set up right, good. So this can't be eight, this can't be seven, this can't be six, this can't be five. Awesome. Okay, where is the next step? We got quite a few dot or dots. We got quite a few digits there. What's left in here? I need a one and it has to go down here somewhere. So let's type that bad boy in. There has to be a two up here somewhere. What else we got? The eight has to be down. So this is one eight. One eight. This is two nine. If I can get rid of these. So this is two nine. This has to be seven. Six, five, four. That's going to give me something, right? Oh, it does not. I'm surprised with that one. Okay. What is next? Can we do something with this guy now? It can't be one, obviously. It could be two. It could be three. Can it be three? No, it cannot be three because this would have to be four and five. So that would break that. It can be two because this would be three, four, five. But it can't be three. It can't be four. Could it be five? No. Six, seven. Boom. Broken. This has to be two. This has to be three and four and five. Now we've got a six, nine. We've got a six up there already. This is nine. This is six. These two are a given of seven and eight. And these three are given as well, but I'm not going to write those in right now. What can this guy be? He might not be the best place to start. Let's actually use the diagonal. That's a two. This one cannot repeat a two, so it is one, two, three, and four. That gives me nine and two. These end up being five and eight. So this is five, this is eight. There we go. These are three. Well, they can't be three on here, so this has to be three. Because if this was a three, this would have to be four. If this was three, this would have to be two. Four and two are already on this line. So these are six and seven. So the six has to start it off and go to the seven. Now these, this can't be one. This obviously can't be one. So this is one. That's one that has to be two. These have to be eight and nine. So those are done. These three digits, let's check these real quick. We need to have a five, an eight, and a nine. So the only place the eight can go is there. This would have to be the 9 because of 5 there, and that's a 5. That 8 gives me 7 and 8. And what's next in line? I want to go into these thermos. I'm going to stay away from just doing basic Sudoku for a second just to see if uh, we can work with the logic of the puzzle instead. So what can this one be? Uh, can it be 1? Yes, it can. Can it be two? No, because the three would conflict. Can it be three? No, because the five would conflict. Can it be four? No, because the six would conflict. And it can't be six, seven, eight, or nine. So what did I just say it had to be? It could be one. It can't be two. It can't be three. So it had to be one. That's the answer. One, two, three, four. Okay. How about here? Can't be one, two, or three, or four. So this has to at least be five. So it's five, six, seven, eight. That works. So it's six, seven, eight, nine. That works. Okay, so we've got a five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine. And well, no, actually, we know what these two are, which is going to give us what this is. These have to be four and five. So that has to be five because we've got a four conflicting up here. This has to be four. This cannot be five anymore. So this is six, seven, eight, and nine. That nine gives us seven and nine. These two have to be two and one. These two are seven and nine, so we give us a nine and a seven. This is flowing quite nicely. That one gives us an eight and a one. And I think we are now in solid Sudoku world. We, one of these has to be a one. It's not all useful. Twos, do we have anything twos that we can do? This has to be the two, which means that this has to be a two. And I think that's all the twos. Yep, threes. What do we got? Three, 
Eh, nothing great on threes just yet. Let's get the fours, because it looks like I can do something. No, I cannot. I thought I could, but we've got four in those. That's an X-Wing that I can't quite determine yet. The fives, I've got a five. There's the fives, and fives. Six, fives are done. Sixes. No. One of those. Oh, yep, here's a six, which is going to give me this six and finish off this six. Sevens are next in line. This is the seven. This is the one. This is now the four. Found it eventually. This has to be the three. This has to be the seven. This has to be the nine. These two. Three and four. So three and four because of that four right there. This one is just a given one. These have to be three and Eight. We've got an eight over here, so three and eight. And right here we've got a one, right here we've got a three, and here we have a nine. And let's check to see if we didn't mess things up. Where is my check button? There it is. And yeah, congrats, you followed it. Cool. That was a nice little puzzle. Good, good simple rules. Normal kind of Sudoku digits. Uh, typo. That's okay. We, uh, we can fix that in our uh, uh, type out of the rules because it should be from bulb to tip. Digits increase from bulb to tip. Anyway, not a big deal. Typos happen. It's, it happens all the time. Trust me. I can mess up the easiest things in the world. So no problems there. So anyway, really love that one. Thermoran by Arc29. Uh, good puzzle. Hope to see some more from this guy. If he hasn't already, I, I don't have a massive list of Sudokus that I've, that I've done so far. So I'm sure some of these guys you all might know um, that I'm just not quite aware of yet. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. It was pretty short and sweet, but good puzzle. Enjoyed it. Hope to see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.